The Dunbar community fighting back tonight against the city of Fort Myers and finally getting some action. This comes decades after the city dumped toxic sludge here in an open field in Dunbar. Wake's anchor Brittany McDonald is holding the city leaders accountable live now from the site for us. Brittany. Well, Wink News has been on top of this situation for more than a month now. While many city leaders still haven't addressed your concerns, I sat down one on one with both the mayor and the city manager. Saeed and the council will solve this problem. Mayor Randy Henderson defends city manager Saeed Kazemi, who many are blaming for not taking care of this toxic dumping site sooner. We need an investigation into the actions of Saeed Kasimi, what he knew, what did he do when he knew. At the time, uh, Saeed was the public works director. He was not the decision maker. Kazemi laid out a plan for testing and cleaning up the site surrounded by homes in the coming weeks. But this comes 10 years after arsenic was discovered in the soil while he worked for the city. So when they say that it's not hazardous to the community, do you believe that? No, I do not. Because if, if it was so harmless, we still should have known. They want to understand where that you know, lack of information came over that yeah. long period of time. We're, we're here today. Uh, I, 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 don't, I can't answer that question. Council member Johnny Streets hasn't responded to a request for an interview, but spoke up during Monday night's meeting. I still hear that there may be, may be some families that are living off of well water and septic. If that's so, we need to find out who those folk are. Kazemi says he plans to test all of the drinking wells within a quarter mile of the site with homeowners' permission. It is the process that is open, it's transparent, and we are going to do, continue to do the same thing. And back here live, you can see that a fence has been put up by the city around the site, but it's not done. I'm told by the city manager that it should be completed by the end of this week, but rain had put them behind. Now, that meeting, the public meeting, we were supposed to find out when that would be next week, but it sounds like we'll have to wait a little bit lo longer for that notification. Count on Wink News to keep you updated. I'm live in Fort Myers, Brittany McDonald, Wink News Now.